In this video, we're going to take a look at sequences. We're going to introduce them and then think about how to find them given an algebraic rule. So let's just get warmed up by looking at this first simple example. Write down the next three terms of each of the following sequences. So if you look at A, we should be able to spot some patterns and hopefully you can see it already. We, of course, are going up by the same amount every time we are plussing four. So that means we've got to continue plussing four to get the next terms. So for A, the next one is going to be 27. Then we're going to have 31. And then we're going to have 35. I'm doing this by adding four every time, just like I've seen in the previous terms. If we take a look at the next one, see if we can work out the answer to part B. Well, we're from one to nine, we're going up by eight. Then we're going up by eight again, and eight again, and eight again. So both of these are linear sequences. We've got to keep adding eight in this case. So my next number is going to be 41, then 49, then 57. I found this by adding eights. Okay, so that hopefully makes us understand a little bit more about sequences and spotting patterns in sequences. Let's introduce now at the idea of an algebraic rule to determine a sequence. So a sequence can be defined by a rule, and in all of the examples we're going to look at today, they're all going to have that same quality that they're going up by the same amount every time. So n is often used in sequence formulas and that means the term number. So for example, if I wanted to find the first number in the list, I'm going to say n is equal to 1. If I wanted to find the second number in the sequence, then I'm going to say n is 2. If I wanted, just to change things a little bit, to find the tenth number in the list, n is going to be 10. If I, for example, wanted to find the 515th number in that list, I would say, well, OK, n is going to be 515. And then I'm going to take these numbers. I'm going to put them into that formula to help us work out what the answers are. So with that in mind, let's see if we can work out the first five numbers in our list. So clearly, I've already done the first bit. We know to find the first number, I've got to imagine that n is 1. Well, that means that 3 times 1 plus 1 gives us our answer. That's going to be 4. Our first number is 4. Then we're going to do and imagine that n is 2. So we're going to have 3 times 2 plus 1. And that is going to be 7. Our second number is 7. Then to find the third number, imagine that n is 3. So we'd have 3 times 3 plus 1. Well, that will be 10. 3 times 4 plus 1 is going to give us the fourth number in the list. That's going to be 13. And then 3 times 5 plus 1 will find us the fifth number in the list. Well, that one is going to be 16. So if I'm to write out this list again, it's going to be 4, 7, 10, 13, 16. And it will go on and on and on. These numbers here are the answers. Now, going back to that formula one last time, we have this situation where we've got this un. And u is defined to be the answer, the outcome, the number in the list. So u1 is that number there, that 4. And this 13, for example, I call it u4. OK, that is the outcome, the number in the list. Let's take a look at another example. So we have another one here. The terms of a sequence are given by the formula un equals 8n minus 3. So A is very similar to the last question. Let's calculate the first three terms in the sequence. Well, we're going to need to work out this formula when n is 1. So 8 times 1 minus 3 is 5. That's our first number in the list. n is 2. 8 times 2 minus 3. Well, that is going to be 13. And n is 3. 8 times 3 minus 3. That's going to be 
21. So the first three terms in the sequence are 5, 13, and 21. We have found u1, u2, and u3. So now we're going to find the hundredth term in the list. So we have to imagine n is 100. We're finding, let's write that down, u100. It's going to be 8 times 100 this time, minus 3. Our hundredth number in the list is going to be 7, 9, 7. 8 times 100 is 800, minus 3 is 7, 9, 7. The 200th term in the list, well, you can see what's happening here. We need, we're trying to find u200, and that is going to be 8 times 200 minus 3. Well, let's do some working here. 8 times 200 is 1,600. So 1,600 minus 3 will be 1,597. 1,597 is our 200th term. Okay, hopefully you have understood how to do this. And you can now use an algebraic rule to find a specific number in a sequence.